what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this is going to be the review for the intruder the intruder was directed by Dion taylor written by david law laurie uh in the film we have megan good michael ailey and dennis quaid those are our three central characters of the movie uh so one of the characters from power is in it i can't think of his name right now but he plays the character tommy in the movie or in the series he's in this movie as well Basically, in this film, we have a married couple who buys a house in the country uh, from Dennis Quaid, who ends up not wanting to let the house go. For whatever reason, he refuses to let the house go. He stalks the fan he stalks the couple, uh, develops sort of a love interest for Megan Good's character, and develops sort of a rivalry with the husband because of this. There is a lot to enjoy about this movie, and then there's a lot that is wrong. So, overall, this is a very entertaining thriller, but at the root of it all, I would say that this movie has several continuity issues in regards to stuff existing simply for the sake to just pass time. There's several plot threads that revolve around Megan Good and Michael Ely that don't ever end up amounting to anything in regards to what's actually the point of the film they're just several side pieces that feel they're there just to pass time dennis quaid honestly gives the best performance i don't think anyone in the movie does a bad job what's really hindering the movie is the plot threads that are just there to pass time the fact that the characters are written in the in the worst way possible they're they're overly cliche typical characters you would expect in a situation like this where they do everything that is wrong left and right continuously one doesn't learn from the other they're both supporting and enabling each other's stupidity the decisions that they make that they make throughout the movie will bother several viewers if you actually care about what you're watching because they just don't do anything that's smart in, re in the in regards to what's happening here we do find out eventually why Dennis Quaid's character refuses to let the house go or why he has sort of an attachment to this house. Uh, then again, we do also have certain things that are, that are never amounted up to. They're never fully explained. I really think the movie was shot well. Uh, Dennis Quaid, again, he's like the standout here in the movie. Megan Good and Michael Ely, they do fine for their roles as a couple. Uh, Megan Good, it was nice to see her kind of take the lead later on in the movie when she was alone with Dennis Quaid's character and some of the sequences they went through. I uh, think the soundtrack was fine. I think the acting was fine from everybody. Cinematography looked fine. The issue is the writing and the simple fact that at the end of the day, it just doesn't feel like anything worth it's not enough for me to say that it was good it's not this is not a good movie I, i'm gonna say this is a bad movie uh dennis quay's performance and him really shining as like that psychopath because i've never seen him in something like this i think there was a movie that came out in the early 2000s that he was involved in but he wasn't in the psycho role he was in the role that megan good and michael ely were I can't think of the name of that movie right now, but if you know what I'm talking about, please let me know what the name of that movie is down in the comment section below. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna have to give The Intruder a five out of 10. I don't think it's good at all. There's 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 good aspects to it, but overall, I would say the the cons outweigh the pros. It's, and it just feels like at the end of the day, because once, once you're done looking at the movie, you're gonna be wondering yourself, well, what was the point of all this? What, what did they accomplish? Because you find out things about these two that make you not want to root for them halfway through the movie uh one of them has has issues in in regards to their trust and their loyalty and it's just like what does this have to do with anything i don't know i i don't even want to really continue talking about this movie i enjoyed it for what it was did i like the intruder i did like it but it's still bad if you don't understand what i what i mean by that then you probably don't understand the way i talk about movies i have a very clear i understand that there's a very clear difference between me liking something but still being able to admit that it's bad i have no problem admitting that i like a bad movie and the intruder was a fun movie to watch for me i enjoyed it a lot but 
it's still a very flawed film at the end of the day i'm gonna give it a five out of ten if you saw the intruder over the weekend let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the movie or if you did not enjoy the movie let me also know that down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video and also in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know what movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future